This is a supplemental video on stripping wire and essentially a guide to doing the first uh, two labs, your um, wiring electrical joints part one and wiring electrical joints part two. So the first thing I wanna look at is the box. Give you a nice up close view of the box. Uh, I know we looked at it in class, but it is uh, nicer to see once, you're, uh, once you can kind of zoom in and actually look at it. So inside here, well actually we'll first start on the top. So this box here, is a BC 2104 LLE, okay? It's the type of box it is. It is meant to be placed on the side of the stud. These two pieces right here, here and here, would be on the front face of the stud, just like the piece I passed around in class. Um, and this would actually extend beyond the, uh, this piece right here would extend beyond the stud itself. So the stud would actually be up against here and then anything past this would be uh, beyond the stud and that would count for drywall. Once you actually get looking in at the components of the box, you're going to find there's a knockout um, places for a wire to go through here, here, and on the bottom, here, and here. The wire doesn't actually go through these holes here. You have to remove those um, little tabs. And you do that by sticking a, well, I use a, a flathead screwdriver. I'll stick the screwdriver into the tab, pull out like this, and then you're able to uh, use your screwdriver and remove that tab or move it out of the way. That opens up the hole in the top and that's where your wire would go in. Okay. Once we are done with that, we're going to look at the inside of the box itself. So inside you can kind of see there's uh, two, two uh, screws up top or there's a screw up top and there's a screw down below. When the wire goes in, so I'll just stick a piece of wire in just for uh, illustration purposes. You stick a wire in and you can see how on the inside um, it comes through and here's where your conductors would come out and uh, this is the inside of the box. This screw here, if you tighten that down, will tighten down on the wire itself, clamping it into place. Um, I'm going to show you without any wire in right now or how I have it right now. When you actually tighten that clamp down, there should only be about that much, so about a quarter of an inch hanging out past the clamp. And that's just so that the clamp doesn't pinch down on the wire. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how to strip the, the wire itself and where to attach the wires inside the box. So stripping the wire um, is a pretty straightforward, easy process. Uh, and if you remember the structure of how the wire is made up in class, um, it was shown on the PowerPoint presentation that I had. Um, you have your three conductors in there and you can kind of see them, the white and the black wire at least, and you can kind of see the copper in the middle. Um, you can refer back to the PowerPoint if you need to, uh, but essentially you're going to take your knife, you're going to put your knife right in the center, uh, right where the bond wire would be. You're not going to hurt the bond wire by sticking the knife through the center. You're going to push carefully, uh, make sure you don't have anything on the other side. You don't want a finger there or anything like that. Um, you're going to push the knife through till it comes to that point there. Keeping the knife then straight, you'll be able to pull along, uh, the length of the cable and you should be able to just strip that right uh, so that the uh, conductor, uh, it basically reveals the conductors on the inside and you'll be able to cut off um, the outer sheathing and get rid of it. You're left with, uh, when you take that off, you're left with this. So again, this should be, you know, roughly, you know, six, seven inches hanging out of the box. So you might have to strip this a little bit more. I would say a good length to strip this cable is close to 12 inches. Okay, so um, you measure it up and you're probably sitting about that much if you actually were to strip the whole thing. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes. All right, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to put the wire into the box. So now I'm gonna show you how to put the wire into the box. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you have the top of the receptacle uh, box here that I've already taken the uh, little tab out of. Uh, bent it back so that there's room for the receptacle. What I would recommend doing is taking your red Robertson screwdriver, your number two Robertson, uh, that's the square one, putting it into the back and loosening up this, this top set screw with it, where that clamp is, getting as much room in this por portion here as you possibly can. It'll make getting the wire in much easier. Okay, so once you're done with that, you're going to take your wire, you're going to push the wire through the top, just like that. 
and it kind of helps to bend that around um, until you get, like I said uh, previously, about a quarter of an inch past the box or past the clamp. So you can kind of see in here, uh, it's a quarter inch. If I tighten that down, it's not going to tighten on the conductors themselves down here. Um, and you're not going to have loads of extra like you would if you had it like that. So about there is the sweet spot. Okay, at that point, you're just going to tighten that down. And again, this will be attached to the stud in class, so it won't be moving around like it's moving around with me. It'll be much easier to deal with. Okay, so you don't have to over tighten. It's actually bad to over tighten this, those clamps, uh, as if you over tighten, you can actually short out the wires inside the, the cable itself. Okay. Once you have those cables done, the next thing I'm going to want you to do is basically finish up the connection. So uh, we will push the white and the black wire out of the way. And you have this uh, copper wire here. That's your ground wire or your bond wire. All right. The bond wires have to bond. The, the job of the bond wires is to bond them to the box. Um, and essentially they carry continuity. Um, they make sure all the different boxes that these are connected to are at the same potential, uh, meaning they're one of these, if, if one of these black wires, which is live, were to touch the side of the box, um, it would actually trip the breaker instead of livening up the box, which would be dangerous. So we tuck the bond wire, and I don't know if you can see that, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, we tuck the bond wire underneath that screw, and you can see it, the way it goes around and the way I have to tighten this, it's a, um, you're turning clockwise. And as you tighten, there's two little divots there and the wire will nestle nice and neat underneath one of those divots to the point where it gets nice and tight. And then it's done. That's not going anywhere. Okay. At that point, since we don't need the bond wire right now, if there's another wire coming in through the top here, you'd be able to do the other side. Because we don't need the bond wire anymore, I can tuck it back nice and neat in the back of the box. Um, and we can move on to stripping uh, the cable itself or stripping the actual wires. So stripping the actual wires of the uh, cable uh, requires you to use a tool like this. So these are uh, a pair of wire strippers. And as you can see, uh, I, I talked about in class, um, this has different gauges for uh, different type of wires. So we have our solid uh, gauges up top. We have our stranded uh, gauges down below. And that's just for stripping either solid wire or stranded wire. What we're stripping right now is considered solid wire. So I'm going to be using that gauge. And like I talked about in class, this gauge, the gauge of this wire that we're using is 14 gauge. So you can see on my strippers, I need to place the wire right there and then it will strip properly. So we're going to go uh, into that spot. And again, you're stripping roughly three quarters of an inch, uh, give or take. Um, it's always better to go a little bit more if you have to. You can always cut it down. All right, so we're on the 14 gauge. You're gonna pinch and you're gonna just uh, pull out with the strippers um, and give you the room or give, uh, basically slide the sheathing. So I've got a little cut there um, just to show you. Um, and then you can take your strippers and uh, pull the sheathing out and it will uh, come out nice and easy. Um, a trick I use is use my thumb to actually guide the strippers. So I can do that one more time. Uh, we'll just get rid of this. So I, I don't actually use much force with this hand here, holding the strippers, um, I'll pinch and then I'll push with my thumb and pull back with this finger here, my uh, uh, middle finger. And it kind of folds the wire or basically pulls the wire off of the sheathing. It's much easier than trying to pry with this hand here with the, with the strippers because it, it will, if it binds up, it, it has a higher potential to bind up. Next will be wiring and joints. I'm gonna do the other side of this box. Uh, once I have that prepped, I'll film the other side and, and making the actual joint. With the final portion of this supplemental video, uh, I'm just gonna show you how to make the joints in the box again. Um, and again, we will be able to run through this in class before uh, we do anything. Uh, I'll do a quick demo and I'm sure uh, the other instructors will also. So what you're gonna be using now are Again, these wire connectors, um, these things are good for 14 gauge uh, and the ones that we have in the shop are good for that. So I've gone ahead and basically finished up um, the entering the wires into the boxes and you can see uh, this was the first one I did. I'll just grab my screwdriver to point. So this was the first one I did. I wrapped it around. Uh, you can kind of see the, 
um, side of the connection of the wire goes. I just did this one off camera, uh, but it's essentially the same thing. It wraps around the other side, and as I tighten, um, as I tightened the screw, it tightened up. So now it is nice and solid. Uh, since we don't need the bond wires uh, this for this lab, you can tuck them both in the back of the box um, and just get them out of your way. The next thing we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, wire up our light colors. So we have our white wires go together and our black wires go together. Um, we won't be powering these up right now, but when we do, it is important to maintain your uh, connections and uh, the proper wire coloring, um, depending on what you're doing. So I'm not gonna use my linesman for this as my strippers actually have a uh, flat nose on them that I'm able to do this with these. But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the tips of the wire. So you can see they're pretty equal right now. We're gonna take our wire strippers or linesman, however you wanna do this, and we're gonna twist clockwise, okay? Um, just like you're tightening um, a screw or something like that to the point where it comes to that, uh, where it will look like a nice twisted wire. At that point, you're going to take your wire connector and you're going to put the wire connector on. Things you're going to be looking for when that's all on is when you're looking nice and straight at it, uh, do you see any copper hanging out the bottom? So if I were to back this off a little bit and have it just say that was my finished product right there, you can actually see copper. To me, that's no good. That has to be fixed. Um, if by chance you have too much wire stripped, I'll just do this one on purpose uh, so you can see how you could remedy that problem. Get those out of the way. So on this one, I've stripped those maybe a little bit too long. What I'm gonna do here is again, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna pre-twist the wires, um, get these nice and wrapped around. Now I have a feeling already seeing it that those are not going to fit in the moret properly. It's too long. And just like I thought, I am correct. Uh, you have some copper hanging out, not a good connection. It's easy enough if those were live, I could reach into the box to pull out uh, these connections. If I was doing some maintenance on it, you pull out the connections and I might come in contact with the copper wires, shocking myself. So how do we fix this? We can take our linesmen or side cutters or wire strippers and they all have a pair of cutters on them. You can actually just cut this down, uh, maybe a half inch, quarter inch, however you want, however much you need. Um, and then you'll be able to put them right, right back on, the wire connector right back on. And that covers it. Now, when I hold that nice and straight against the camera, you can't see any copper. So that's been fixed. I hope this helps. Any questions, please let me know.